What's going on guys? Bo here. Welcome to episode 8, I think. Is it episode 8 now? I think, it, yeah, the last one was, no, it's either episode 8 or 9. I'm pretty sure this is episode 9. So welcome to episode 9 of Setting the Bar. Of course, it was episode 8. Well, the title will say it, but it doesn't really matter if I got those wrong. I can't fully remember, but it doesn't matter. I'm starting the video anyway. So as usual, well, what I'd like to say before we start is please, as you can see by the title, well, first of all, I don't know how many people have just jumped on this video and like mass disliked it just for seeing the title, really. But um, I know there's going to be people who have probably already commented things about Boat. You're going to be at level 141 combat now. Please, I know that, okay? So please listen to the video and then don't leave comments that I've explained in the video. Because when I see comments that I know already, it's just like, oh, and it's just, you see the same comment like 10 times saying something you know, it's just like, I know that. But yeah, overall, please, listen to this. But yeah, I'm going to start off on the topic that I'm sure everyone is here for. So first of all, we will go into our stats updates. So I don't think my non-cops have changed much. Uh, I know agility's definitely changed when I was training agility on the last vlog, which was 8, I believe. Uh, I was training to 90, and then I got 90 after the video. No, I didn't. I got 89 after the video. Similar, I don't even can't remember. But yeah, that's my stats. They haven't changed much overall, but um, 96 runecrafting, 97 runecrafting. Don't know why I'm hovering over construction. 97 runecrafting, currently uh, slightly working on that. I think I'll get 98 runecrafting before I go on holiday, but I'm not sure about that. Um, overall, took five, five and a quarter, the 525 mil XP there, so that's a steadily rising. I think that changed way quick. And then obviously, where was it? Magic as well, yeah. For those that don't know, I am currently rank 100 magic in the game. However, I think someone actually overtook me now, 101, but. I'm not bothered, I got to rank 100, I'm happy with that currently. Uh, well, I'm 101 now, obviously, but I'll obviously go and get that back sometime. But yeah, magic's going good, and before people start leaving comments about this, yes, I do know that after the combat rework, the rune amount for a barrage is changing. The only reason I train magic at the moment is because it is so AFKable that I can just do it, plus I still have like 100,000 runes. I've got like 70,000 barrages still left in the bank, which should get me somewhere at like 110, 20, 115 million XP, so... That'll definitely help, but yeah, overall, costs aren't too important to me, but yeah, that's about it for the stats, um, which you can see I've got all 90s now, apart from attack, defense, and thieving, um, the reason I don't have thieving is because, um, I, thieving is something where if you have two people in Pyramid Plunder, you train it faster, really, I don't know how much faster it is, but obviously that XP rate is like the 10k faster per hour, which means if I did for 10 hours a day, I get an extra 100k XP, blah, 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 we all understand those, now, but yeah, I'm kind of, I'm just going to wait until I have a partner and just go 85, 99 in like one go, well not one day, obviously, but with the same guy, like over three, four days, I don't think Fever will take that one, but I can't bother going to solo Pyramid Plunder to get 90, when if I get two people, I can obviously do it faster. And then in the meantime, I can just work on these skills, really. So unfortunately, I did actually just lose my barber sort hat um, hybriding like a tw 20 minutes ago or something. There's usual guys where you're fighting them and they kill you and they say something like, see you when you die. I'm just like, oh, seriously? And I just want to burn him. But yeah, I lost my barber sort hat, so I'm going to have to get that back. And that means that my horn filling time is going to drop a bit. But um, you ever wonder how I uh, fill my horns? I go to a French chat called like Leech BA or something, and I either join a team in there because they are the best team. Honestly, like even though someone leeches, like someone pays to leech, and then I join these teams as a, a role, really, I get the same potential they do, really, but I'm not leeching it. If I want an AFK, I can buy one myself and leech that, and same with fighter items and stuff. But they do the team where four people do on each role, and then one guy leeches it. They do it faster than if we had the extra guy, really, in World 6. So honestly, they are by far my favourite method for doing my horns. I think I'll do all my horns there. And whenever there's not a horn there, I'll probably just buy my own and leech that one, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll get around to doing that. But yeah, that's how I fill my horns. And I believe I'll be going for it. I'm going to leave agility where it is. I might get 91 before I get 99 mining because I use like all my jack of trades and my lamps on that. and troll invasion and stuff, everything like that goes on to agility. And then there's mining, which is what I use my horn on, which means I need about like seven more horns or something, so I think it's like a 60% horn in the bank, so obviously that goes a bit. And then really final skill, runecrafting, not a problem, I'm in no rush for runecrafting. Once I get 99 runecrafting, I'll be pretty upset really, because it's kind of my last day of cable apart from 200 mil magic, which will obviously take a long time. And then whole nurse, really fast, but quite frustrating. It's quite a frustrating skill, but I can deal with it really. So yeah, that's about it for the stats. So if you'd like to minimize the video, I haven't actually said that in the last few videos. But yeah, if you want to minimize the video, then feel free to. Right, I had to uh, pause the video then to sneeze a couple of times. What is that? It's bloody skulls over there. So we're going to show them there. Yeah, but I found like I'll, before I actually get into my topic, I'll talk a bit about rune spam, but how I actually do it. I find a good method of rune spamming is to not use the nodes. Don't bother cashing your essence. Just get straight on the nodes 
And whenever you run out, you can actually just like grab these in between sipping in these really. Just go like that and honestly you'd like lose no XP and you don't need to waste time on these things. And obviously if there's no nodes on the island, you can go and explore for one. But then your runes can run out. Like I've only got four body runes left, so I managed to run up there and like so I can see like a fleshy growth up there or something, then I'll obviously go and get that because fleshy growth's good, but anything that gives body runes are good. I use body runes a lot. I think it's the flesh ones. Yeah, flesh platforms. But yeah, if you've got any small tips from me for runecraft, I'd say just get on the nodes and just keep grabbing the 25 essence. Don't bother with these unless you're want to really because with these you have an unlimited supply of essence really and with those you get like so many that you have so much excess essence when you teleport away that it's small waste it's not the biggest waste it's not like important obviously but yeah that's about it so the third thing actually before I get in this is my robes I'm probably gonna have a few questions like asking what robes I'm wearing just to save that time really I am wearing necromancer robes which I actually didn't know existed in the game until like four or five days ago, I'm not sure when, but when I saw one of my uh, friends got them, obviously, and it matched the completion, I said trim completion, matched the completion skip, and it looked so sick, I was like, right, I need to get those, how long would it take? She was talking like it would take me hours to get it, I was like, ugh, so I went and grinded out like three hours worth to try and get them in the first go, and I used all those keys, and I got one piece, and I was so happy that I got that piece, and I made the necromancer on top of that, and then with the second piece, I got that on a live stream two or three days ago, and I did two hours of yakking the bones. Is is the more I probably make a guide on it. I said my, I said to my live stream, would you want a guide on it if I got both pieces? When after I got the robe legs, would you want a guide on it? Obviously they saw what I had to do, but most of them said yes. Yeah. So I'll probably get a guide up for that. Probably after I get back from my holidays though, so you have to stay tuned for that. But honestly it's not hard, it's just that shades of more mini game. And if you have like Mauritania legs three, you can get them in like an hour. And if you don't, it takes a very long time. So I'll show any room pures or stuff like that. Two if you want to do the requirements, it's thirty it's pretty much these are Dagon High robes. Uh, the same requirements as Dagon High Rose, but you have to have done Shades of Morton as well to obviously get hold of them. But they're, they're exactly the same as Dagon High Robes. They're cosmetic, but they have like double the prayer bonus, really. So they're definitely good for like barraging because prayer bonus robes are definitely, I think they're the highest prayer bonus robes in the game, but I have no idea about like Virtus or any of that. So I could be completely wrong on that. I'm just making it. But that's like plus five, that's like plus three, plus eight for top and bottoms. That's pretty good for some robes. So they're pretty awesome to get. But like I said, if you don't have Mauritania Lakes 3 and you're like a room pure like me and you can't get them, uh, beware, get ready to take out like five hours of your day or five hours of time to try and get them. And then again, I still think I got lucky. Uh, pretty much overall, uh, they're rumoured to have a 1 in 50 rate from the chest, and also the odds to get a key to open that chest is 1 in 50, so technically that's like 1 in 2,500 chance to get one, which obviously is wrong. I don't believe their statistics are right, but it's kind of right. So overall, I got both of mine in under like 25 keys, so you will, you will get them, really. If you want to properly get them, go out, Get a load of keys, use those keys. When I make a guide, obviously, on it if you need a guide, but you can just YouTube it or Google it. So actually, there's only like one guide on YouTube, and it wasn't that good. That's why I'm saying I might make my own. But yeah, just Google Necromancer Robes, I'll tell you what to do, really. And then get ready to just put some time. If you want to know how they look, they do look pretty sick. Like, give you a tip though, uh, they don't match uh, tricks, I mean, skill capes. Dungeoneering capes different, it doesn't have those neck things on it. But when you put a slay cape on it, it's these massive neck things that comes out the side, and it looks pretty damn horrible. But if I go back, can I actually stop it? I don't know how to stop it. Stop. Stop! Right, I'll have to keep doing that. But yeah, they do look pretty damn sick, kind of. There, they do look. And they do actually fit a completions cape pretty well, so. Definitely worth getting if you are one of those people that like to get upgrades. But yeah, I spent four hours getting mine, and I don't really regret it. It's my new look in the game, and I love them, really. They're awesome! So yeah, getting into this topic, I'm sure you've all been waiting for me to hear this. But yes, by the title, what have you all thought? I title a video Training Attack. That's probably why this video's got like 111 dislikes already, but yeah. I've decided after reading this uh, combat rework, and I've probably had loads of comments about it already, even though I said at the start, please don't, I understand most of it, but the new combat rework is changing the combat level system of the game, really, where the highest combat in the game is actually going to be 200. And it works on a formula where it takes your highest, if I just quickly go through the formula, I know you all know it, but it takes your highest skill in attack, strength, range, and magic, it adds your defense level on, so in my case it would take 99 strength, but range and mage are the same, so it's just 99. Adds my defense level, which is 40, taking me to 139, then it just pluses 2 onto the lowest combat, it's 4, so I'd be 141 combat with my stats. But, before I fully get into that, and what you probably are wondering now, by the title, Training Attack, is if my attack strength, range and mage level are all 99, technically it's only going to add one of them on, which means I can get 39 attack levels for free, no combat level changed. So, for those that have been waiting for me to get attack, and those that don't want me to get attack, you can see, like, me personally, I never wanted to get attack, I never would have, but to, to, if I could choose right now to get 39 attack levels for free and not change a combat, 
I'm pretty sure anyone would take that because it's simply the most common sense thing to do. But before I go into that, I'm going to say now, I am not going to rush attack. I have no plans to train attack yet. I will not be training attack until I have my other goals. I will max out 60-40 first. Don't worry about that one. So, what well, I just want to give a tip to everyone now. If you are, like, similar to my stats, 60 attack, 40 defense, 45 defense, 70 defense, 60 attack. Low, just low attack and stuff like that. Don't rush your attack level. Wait for the update first. That's what I'm going to wait for. We don't know when the update is. There may be, like, four months left. So, why would you want to ruin your account four months in advance to an update? Just train it when the update comes out. Well, not when the update comes out. But first, wait for the update. Test the update with the current stats, for me, 64. I won't be changing it before the update. And then, obviously, if it is, like, um, like a really good update, and, well, my uh, attack level is completely obsolete at the time, then, overall, there you go. That is when you start training attack. Do not rush into it. If you rush into it, you may regret it later, and, honestly, it sucks. And for those people that may say something along the lines of, like, why not just keep almost famous 6040 and then make a new attack account with like 99s now i wouldn't mind doing that i could probably max an account out in like two months getting like no max room pure two months quested barrows gloves it's got 99 attack strength hp prayer mage and range wall pitting and something like that i could probably max that in about two months just afk and barraging on this account and full on speed questing on the other one now you've seen me speed quest i can quest pretty fast but as for the levels i just camp some i'd probably get 99 slayer again really but yeah i'm about to say some stuff that some of you are probably going to find quite ridiculous but the reason i'm not doing that is because i've decided if attack levels don't matter then my defense level is all i care about now and no i will not be changing my defense level Ever. And I'm going to try and, I'm going to do something, I'm pretty sure it's been done before, but I'm going to kind of come like a competitive room pure account. Like, you have all these people that compete for rank 1 on the high scores, and they're just maxed out really getting 200 million in their skills and stuff. Now you're thinking, I want to get 200 million on their skills. But really, what I'm going to try and do is to create potentially the first, first maxed room pure. I don't think that's true, because, just to quickly clarify this before people leave comments saying it, there was a guy a while ago, I believe his name was Sushi or something like that, and he was like rank 3 slayer or something, and he had something like 45 defense, 200 mil attack strength range maze, really, really, everything like that, and 200 mil slayer with 45 defense, and unfortunately, something I still don't understand what he did, he trained defense on his account to get a completion escape, with an account like that, I'm not, I can't say that I would, I, I mean that he did a bad move, it's his account, he does what he wants, and it's like my account right there, I could max out and I could get like rank 50 or something, quite easily, maybe not rank 50, but you know what I mean, um, if I decided to, just by buying 99, I mean, 200 more fine, it'd be like 1 bill, maybe, I'm not sure, I think you for the under soul there, but, yeah, there's a guy, I'm sure you all know him, his name was like Sushi or something, it might have been Chili, I think it's Chili now, actually, but he had uh, 200 mils, like everything, and 200 mils Slayer with 45 defense or something, now, obviously that means he had technically the first out, first max, max Barris Pure, Berserk if you are sorry, but I think what I'm going to try and do is my long, long-term goals, just something to keep me occupied when I play this game, whenever I'm not PKing or making videos, is to simply max out a room pure, and it would be so sick. Now, overall, they were my goals for 60-40. I was going to get 60-40 and max this one out completely, as I'm already working on, but obviously 200 mil strength for me, it took a while. As you can see, I put 200 mil on the skills, I know I'm going to get 200 mil, but as for strength... It would have took me a year with 60 attack to get 200 mil strength. So that was obviously on the issue side. That wasn't a solid goal of me now. But say this combat rework work, this does come out, and I do decide to get 99 attack, I will most like, I'll just say, I will be getting 99 attack after I already have 200 mil range made and whatever HP level I gets, which is around 200 million. So it'll still be around maybe late, like December of 2012, that I actually train attack at all if the update's out there or early 2013, so honestly, don't expect me to rushing into attack any day soon, but good things about that is I can go straight into bringing out some just huge amounts of like really fun commentaries and stuff, like, I don't know how different the wilderness is going to be, I really don't know, but I'll jump onto like another point of view here really, which is, um, in my opinion, the 60-40 build won't actually die out. Currently, as for PK, and I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me on this one, 6040 is probably one of the most popular builds like in the game at the moment. Is there a wizard nearby? No, I never get the north ones. They're always miles away from it. It's probably on like Island 32 or something, which is the one I'm right on. I think that's Island 32. I'm not very good at the islands. But yeah, we're going back to what I was saying then, which I've completely forgotten. Uh, the 6040 build is so common that even if I kept my stats in the combat rework and I could train as many attack levels as I wanted and not level up, there would still be people in the game with 6040. Which means that obviously I could fight people with my own stats. But it probably would get boring fighting people my level over and over again. And obviously when these 6040s get attacked by people with 99 attack and stuff, 
they're obviously going to get attack up knowing that it doesn't make a difference, but yeah, as far as I'm aware, as the combat rework comes out, I should be able to be able to, I should be able to be able to, I should be able to pa ish P I can't talk at the moment, I need to, you know, I had some massive pizza today, I don't know why that affect my talking, but yeah, I mean, I don't think the 60-40 build will fully die out, like, as soon as the combat update comes, it's not going to die out straight away, I'll easily be able to make some commentary still 60-40 before I train attack, so... Yeah, and if I ever do decide to train attack, I will live stream gaining 61 attack and then working towards it. But if I ever went for 99 attack, I could quite easily do that in like 7 to 14 days, something between there, quite easily. It's not hard to get a million attack XP a day, really. But yeah, just to take my goals, even in saying it, well, I'm going to tell you all my goals right now. I don't mind if you don't believe me, but these will be the goals that I aim for before I quit the game, really, or if the game obviously just decides to suck. I mean, for all I know, this combat rework club be just so bad that I just quit the game instantly. But like I said, wait for the update. Don't jump to conclusions or anything. Don't make up your mind already. Wait for it. It may be good. I mean, this may be one of my favourite updates ever to come. And I've been playing this game forever, since I was like six, and, well, not that far, but since I was like, like eight, I think, I'm not sure. Seven or eight I've been playing this game for like a very, very long time. So I've obviously gone through every single type of combat, from RuneScape Classics, like, three hit, can't run thing, to the very start of RuneScape uh, 2's one. Well, RuneScape, I'm sure, like, I don't know if this is true, but when RuneScape came out, as in the current version, I'm sure it was called RuneScape 2 at the time. I'm 99% sure it was, but now it's just called RuneScape. Obviously, they might have migrated that, but I mean, I can remember all these links from ages ago, like, oh, RuneScape 3 beta's out, go to this link, and you go and get, like, right, or something, like, you're the whole head of a rat, like, 10 years ago, no one has, really. But yeah, getting back into that, I'm going to tell you all my goals now, so my goals, assuming this combat rework is a good update, my goals, and how insane they're probably going to be, now, 200 more range, magic, and hit points will be done, they will be done, they are goals I will complete before I quit this game, almost guaranteed, unless obviously I can't, like, chin in a barrage and get some nerf towards the update, like, I will most likely be maxing out my total first, which I'm still have, hoping to have by summer. I mean, with some of the updates coming, it does make it easier, like, but mining, bit of effort, hunt is quick, that'll be finished any time, I'm not rushing that, if I wanted to, I could do that in three days if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Thieving, no time at all, it's just agility and mining that are going to be a bit of a problem for me, but overall... They're not the hugest problem, so I should have them done by summer. But yeah, I will have 200 more mage, range, and hit points done permanently. Then also, I will be very slowly, and I don't know if I'm going to fully do this goal, but 200 million prayer XP. Now, me and Desecrator are in a Skype call, and we calculated it that 200 more prayer XP is only around 5.5 bill. Now, I know I said only 5.5 bill. That is probably double my bank at the moment. So, it is a lot of money to me, too. But to think about it, for a 200 mil, that fast, 1 million XP an hour, literally less than a month if you play 10 hours a day for 5.5 bill i reckon i might just make a secret phone well not a secret phone but put money aside and put it like say i mean like i'm not a dice host i'm not a flower host whatever i'm not a staker or anything like that so that 5.5 bill for 200 if i was a flower host and i had 100 bill in the bank i would probably just bank all the 200 mil buyables because that only cost you maybe like 40 bill tops, maybe a bit higher than that, to get 99, 200 mil smithing, herbal, cooking, crafting, fire making, fletching, farming would be, farming would be slow as hell, but construction would be definitely, don't even get 200 mil something really, but yeah, if I had that money to prayer, I would definitely do it, like, I would work on them a bit by bit, obviously, I know some of them don't care about 200 mils because they're not maxed or anything. Right, got interrupted, so I completely forgot where I was, but I think I was talking about the fact that they may not want 200 mils and stuff. Oh, I keep getting interrupted while trying to make a video. It is not good. But yeah, if I can try and remember where I was actually talking, I believe I was talking about how they, those people may not actually care about their 200 mils, and I'm still probably getting people watching this video like, what's the point in getting that 200 mil? You could put the money towards other things, really. But yeah, I could, but I do put a lot of money towards other things. This is just like side goals that I put as like, my cash pile alone is really high. But I'm not spending it because I can spend it on what I want, really, whenever I want. I mean, I could bank myself rank 100 in prayer right now, but it costs my entire cash stack. I'm not interested, really, in throwing my entire cash stack away right away. So I just let it slowly build up. And like, if I ever get to a max cash pile, which I've never actually legitimately owned myself, I think my highest cash pile ever was like 1.8 bill, 1.9 bill or something when I bought my red pie hat. Fortunately, that is now like a bill now, but it's kind of rising a bit, so that's all right. And I can kind of make a bit of money back. Why is it? Whenever I need... One of these S hounds to be a body one. It's never anywhere. And there's no. Why is there no fleshy groves? I need those. They're even better. Maybe I'll run past a wizard though. That'd be good. But yeah, go back to these dices and stuff like that. But yeah, if they had like billions and billions in the bank where they simply they could buy a 200 mil scale and their bank would change by like 1%. Just, why not? I mean, even you know, if you barely use it, you might as well just have 200 mil herbal in the bank. If you ever get bored, go and make some. Oh, I just went on the wrong one. 
fuck we go. I'm going to go over there. I know there's a body one over there, but I'm going to go there. Yeah, look at me go. Imagine someone fell off respawn. <laughs> He'd just fall forever and die. Like, okay, that's just not flying at all, is it? What the hell is this? This is what you get. That one's floating. That one's definitely floating. This is what you get when you play low detail. But yeah, go back to it. Uh, 200 mils, kind of pointless, as many people do say. I mean, they may say that there's no point in me getting them at all, because I'm not going to be anywhere near rank 1 in the game. I'm not going to be even on the high scores, because I've got 40 defence. That is my phone vibrating. I'll read that in a minute, actually. Actually, it might be important. One second. Did, did it? it probably isn't. Why would you interrupt my call? Third interruption! What is this? Oh, yeah, thank you, Virgin Media. That's fantastic. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my days is horrible. <clears throat> yeah, these people may not really care about their 200 mils, and I don't know why I care about them so suddenly, but I mean, it's just the fact that I have this, like, I don't know, the fact that I just have this account now, and I just suddenly decided I wanted to max it out, and I'm just, like, so close to doing it, and I set more goals. I think it'd just be so sick to be able to log on this game. I know it's a game and all that, but to, I've countless hours of work I'd have to put into doing this, but just to log in the game and then hover over my stats and just see 200 mil, 200 mil, 40,000, 200 mil, 200 mil, 200 mil, 200 mil, and then that, they are the 200 mils I will be going for. Well, yes, bless you, growth, go. Um, but other 200 mils that I'll actually be going for as well is probably dungeoneering. I think I might get to, once I have a primal 2 under, it'd be dead easy to do dungeoneering. I'll just unbind my primal 2H and primal mall and my Argonite 2H and then get a threat type plate body as well. Which means I can obviously survive for a bit longer in floors, which would be a huge help, really. And also, I believe, how would I train attacking strength? I think I would do it 100% through, well, not 100% through Slayer, but most of it through Slayer. And if I ever felt like AFK, I'd just go to Monkey Guards and do it there or something like that. Not Monkey Guards, um, Zombie Monkeys, really, and just do it there. But I mean, if I train 200 mil attacking strength, like, I wouldn't be going for 200 muscle layer. Don't suddenly, like, jump me. I'm not going to spend four years doing it, but if I went training, Slayer is one of my favorite ways to train. Always has been, really, because you get the 15% bonus on the mask stacked on top of the, uh, like, turmoil and all that if I power slayed, which I definitely will. Which means I'm getting, like, plus 38% strength bonus while hitting, which means I do hit huge. Obviously, the only thing that, like, deducts Slayer from being some of the fastest XP in the game is the travelling between tasks. But I could do that quick if I just held every teleport in and just had an inventory of prayer pots, really, because I won't be looting drops. So I could leave whips and stuff. I'd probably loot whips, obviously. But, yeah, I mean, people may say, would I go for 200 mil summoning? I don't think I'll bother with summoning. Uh, I don't really see the... I can't really be bothered with that. I mean, to pick up charms would obviously just add on to the time of this. And still, even if I went for all these 200 mils, I'd be playing the game until summer of 2013. I think I could probably get all that done training at my standards, which is pretty damn quick training overall for me. But yeah, I should have mage range and HP definitely done by the end of this year. And then obviously these ones, I don't think they'll take three months. No way. That's like two mil a day to take. Two mil a day, and it'd still take a hundred days. So, well, that one's half done. So that would take like 79 days or something like that. And that one would take 200. So, so it is still a long time. So I don't know when I'd get them done. But as I say, they aren't permanent goals. But if I do work on them... I'll obviously put uh, videos before them, of course, but I do need to set myself goals on this game, or I really do get bored of playing it, really. Like, at the moment, when I log on and I can't go with PKing, what can I do if I wasn't going for max total? What would I do? I just keep on PKing. I get so bored of PKing, it'd just be like, what is this? So I set myself goals, like, 99 Slayer was a goal, and suddenly I'm like, right, I might go get 99 Woodcutting at Ivy while I was doing my exams. So I was like, oh, I might actually try and max total on, and boom, look where I am now, 2,355 total. I believe it is 43 to go now, and then I am pretty much maxed out, so 14, 9, 9, yep, 53, 43, sorry, so still a while to go, but as you can see, I've almost maxed this, and obviously when I max this, I have my 200 mils to do, and that's, that's just saves me another like 7 months on the game, really, so, overall, if you ever get bored of this game, all you have to do is just set yourself a goal that you can enjoy training, now, I, now just don't get me wrong here, I hate training skills like mining and agility, but simply the goal of getting the 99s in that skill and just having everything 99 with my like attack and defense being low is pretty awesome motivation for me. So I definitely can like push towards it and it's sweet. So can't wait for 99 runecraft and I'll max out my left row, which will be sweet. Can't wait to max out my left row. Like having one row maxed out is awesome. It's like having all those being 99. I mean, some people look on the game and see 99 and everything and 120 there and it's just like... That looks nice, doesn't it? Well, a lot nicer than having like 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. 53, 64, 88, stuff like that. I mean, it's just it's horrible, but well, not horrible, but having 99 and everything is just awesome, really. Now, I know a lot of you do say that I waste my time with my 200 mils, and there's no point in putting like like 10 bill towards me getting 200 mil in the skills that I want to get 200 mil in, which I've kind of already banked half of them, so I only need to do like prayer. Then I need another one bill towards magic, so 
I'm going to wait for the combat rework though for that one, but yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people think I'm wasting what I'm doing, but overall, I enjoy training my account. I mean, I need goals to play this game. I always set myself goals, and as long as I have goals, I can happily log on this game and enjoy my time, even though I'm just siphoning from some bloody skulls. Now, if someone went up to me and said, like, yo, what did you do yesterday? I siphoned some bloody skulls. That just sounds awesome already, but obviously, it's not. It's AFK. It's pretty boring, but yeah, just like I said, goals are what keep me going, so I believe... To max out a Rune Pure and have a max max Rune Pure would be very, very fun to play on. But obviously, not solid goals. So, yeah, don't get me wrong there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But, yeah, that's about it for the thing. So, if I go back to the combat rework, I didn't actually read the whole thing. It was like literally like 20 pages. And I was just like, oh, I can't be honest with that. So, I just read the start really about the combat levels and stuff. So, overall, my account as it is now is 141 combat. And my account with 99 attack is 141 combat, so as you can see, it's pretty much common sense just to get it. And that gives me another skill cape, and I'll have every skill cape in the game apart from defense. Yay! That was also the last uh, melee, com melee skill cape I got my main forever ago. I had everything 99 with like 75 defense at one point, and then PK and just, I, I was, my account was bugged. It was worse than almost famous for PK, and it was like, alright then, pop mate, and it was like 0 0 0. Even I was in max strength in the PvP worlds when you couldn't loot it back, and it takes you like 6 hours to get a torso back. Yeah, my account was just hit constant series. And it was pretty definitely, but... Yeah, they're kind of like my long, long-term goals. I don't mind if you're going to leave comments saying, don't bother, waste the time. I mean, I'm not going to listen to those comments that sound, like, rude or anything, but... Overall, what I set myself as goals, I will, I normally do take them very seriously, and I do try to get them done. Like, for those six months ago saying, what's the point in maxing out, just PK or something... Yeah, I've maxed out now, and I don't really regret it at all. I mean, maybe I do regret, like, not spending as much time in the wilderness back when it was semi-decent. Like, the wilderness has always been degrading. It's still degrading constantly, really, so... Obviously, when I'm scaling, like, give it six months and I'm maxed out, the wilderness, for all I know, might just be filled with people one item polypore. And, like, literally, you go in, and it's just these whole clan of polypores waiting for someone their level. And as soon as a legit PK comes in, thousand polypore spores fired at him straight away, and he just dies or something. So, I don't know what it's going to be like. But, yeah, as long as I'm finding logging on the game form, I ref I don't, I won't quit the game, really. If I ever find that I can't really be bothered logging on the game because I have nothing to do, like, I'm going to log in and sit at the G and do nothing, it's probably around the time I'd start quitting, but as long as I can log in and go straight to working on one of my goals, then yeah, I'm always going to be playing this game. Well, until I like quit like for in real life reasons or something else, so that's about that, I mean, if you watch my first set in the bar, it tells you how long I'll probably be playing the game for, so there's a bit more insight on that, but yeah, that's about it for my combat rework speech and my new ridiculous goals, really, but if I ever do properly go for a max max room pure, I will probably make a huge series out of it. I don't know if I'll train another account. I may do. I'll wait until we find like a new overpowered build. But yeah, that's about it for my skills. So yeah, I mean, don't expect me to have those skills in a while. I mean, they, 200 mils are ridiculous. To, uh, pretty much getting a 200 mil on an account is the same as getting it like 15 times on another one, I think. But obviously, because I'm already 99, like strength and stuff, I can train attack as far as fast as any level 138, except for they may have like a couple of strength bonus above me. But. I very rarely find people that slay faster than me at all. I I know every slayer method for most monsters. The thing is, because I'm not training my defense, there's some methods gone, like mutated blood veils are a sick task, but I can't do them. I can't get aside things like myth dragons, they're obviously not good XP, but and then there's also this thing where I can't attack the levels that are 30 combat slower than me. That might affect me. I mean I don't know how that's gonna work in Slayer, but I mean if I'm 141 combat, I think I can just attack gargoyles. Pretty sure I can just attack gargoyles. I think they're 111. But things like what's a hellhound's combat? I think that's like, I think it's 122. I'm not sure. Well, things like that, I don't know how that's going to affect it. But yeah, overall, I mean, I might be making this video now, and you're all thinking that I'm going to get 200 mil everything. It's going to take me two years, and I'm wasting my time completely. I may not even do it. It depends how the rework is for me to fully go onto this. But like I said, I just need goals to do really. So I'm going to conclude that there and move on to another topic. So I do actually have another topic to talk about, but I want to save it for another video. Because it's quite a big one, but I'll tell you what the topic is, and it's going to be a bit about, like, how YouTubers, like, get slated on, if that's a word. I always just, is that even a word? I don't know, but how YouTubers, like, kind of just be like, you see what, like, people see, like, as a short, like, example of what I'm going to talk about. When people see me in game, like, and talk to me, and maybe I don't reply because I'm not watching, they're like, oh, he's too famous to talk to people. The only reason they say that is because they probably spoke to another YouTuber who has uh, maybe a lot more subscribers than me, or from previous, like, past things of when someone gets really known on YouTube, they like speech marks, well, quote marks, change, and stop talking to people really now. 
I don't really want to fully go into this, but I'll probably save it for them. But really, when I made my YouTube account, I made it, well, made my second one, obviously. I made it fully knowing what other YouTube videos makers did wrong by, like, ignoring fans and stuff. And I try my best to talk to my fans as much as I can. And the public off there really does make this easier to say, really. But, yeah, if you ever see me in game, like, I always say, feel free to talk to me. I'll talk back if I'm busy. I'm... Just, if you want to say, are you busy, and if I am busy, I'll tell you I'm busy and what I'm doing, really, but if I'm not, I, I don't mind a chat, I mean, they do pass the time quite well, and sometimes they get into rubbish for people, and that's probably a good way to get on my friends list, but please, if you don't, if you see me in game, don't purposely talk to me to try and get on my friends list, because I most likely will not add you in that case, I mean, I remember Skilly and Freed, I was going for 99 Fletching ages ago, no, I, wasn't, I was going for my effigy Fletching level, 94 Fletching, uh, Saul was banking, I was talking to this guy for two hours, and then I actually added him without him asking me, really, so. Not trying to use the old, I've got loads of YouTube subscribers, that's, like, amazing to happen, but he just seemed like such an awesome guy, he never asked me to add him at all, so. I know, I know it's not one of those guys who's going to pester me every time I log on, really, so. I really don't mind having people like that on my friends list, I mean, they're cool to talk to, but. I've got 14 spots left, but I can delete a fair few of these people, because they are about, like, killing accounts and stuff, and. Some people I don't really know, and just, like, yeah, if I scroll up and stuff like that, there's. Fair few people I could actually delete here, but I don't want to delete them yet because they're all active. They all talk to me at least once, so I do have spots on my friends list. I always try to keep at least five though to deal with kilns and all that. But yeah, if you ever meet me in game, want to have a chat, just talk to me. I don't mind. I am rather talkable. One. Probably one of the most talkable people you can talk to. I always love having a conversation with subscribers, and if you're a hater as well, I'll probably talk to you. But if you're going to like constantly flame me, I'll probably just start ignoring you. But if you don't like my videos, I don't know why you're watching this one, but maybe if you don't like my PK videos and you only watch my set in the bars and you're hearing this, then I don't mind if you talk to me. If you admit that to me, I don't mind. As long as, I mean, one of the things I really like, like something that I like like above many things is like honesty. Really, like this is in real life as well. If people are honest. I kind of, like, respect that in a way, like, I know putting the word, like, respect in, in real life in the same sentence is kind of weird, but, yeah, if people are honest, I kind of respect that, like, I always say if someone's, like, honest, like, uh, I don't know, random example, if I lost two quid or something and I say, like, um, did you see who stole, like, that or something, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's me, I'd be like, oh, or, you know, well, maybe not in that example, but I don't really know how to put that into an example, so just ignore it, I said that really, but, yeah, honesty is something cool, if you come up to me and say you don't like my videos, then... I don't mind, but if you want to turn it into a hate conversation, I won't hate you back. Uh, I will cover a question I was asked on a, a live stream, just because it kind of follows off that, really. But uh, when I was doing my As a First Resort um, Taco Cal from Scratch live stream, oh, I don't want to speak about that quest, it was horrible. Uh, the Twitch chat I actually saw was getting completely spammed out with the same person, people asking the same question. Now, when my Twitch chat gets spammed out with people asking the same question. I tend to ignore that question simply because you're spamming the channel. I know that means you want me to answer it, but I try to answer questions that aren't spammed. If you're asking me the same question over and over again, I will start most likely ignoring that question. Unless obviously the Twitch is, the chat is dead as hell and I'll try to. That cape looks awesome. Look, imagine, put, quickly, put that cape on the armor I'm wearing. It'd look pretty sick, wouldn't it? I'm not going to stand there. I can't move, oh, it's the essence, but, yeah, the question they were asking was to, um, have me, like, talk about an IRL fight story or something, and people, like, um, I mean, in the comment itself, everyone's spamming, they put, like, the words, you're my favourite commentator, and I'd love to hear this, but, overall, because it was spamming, I didn't answer it, but I'll answer it now, if he's watching this video, fair enough, but, overall, I have never been in a fight, really, and you can probably understand that from my personality on YouTube, is the fact that I don't get offended over a game, People like raggers don't annoy me, so if you move that to in real life, I don't really get into fights often because I never really get into like hate with anyone. I don't really have anyone that hates me, I'm 99% sure no one really hates me, maybe they do, but overall if someone hates me, I'm, I normally just laugh about it really, I mean, the most usual insult people use on me is ginger, but that makes me laugh and no one really uses that in like a proper verbal fight or anything, but no, I have never really, I've probably been in a fight in like year 6 or something, but as far as I'm aware, in, like, secondary school from, like, year 7 plus, I've never been in a proper fight. Not a proper one, anyway. I've been in a couple, but not nothing, nothing like, spectacular to talk about. But I've had a few, like, quarrels, if that's a good word. But, no, I've never been in a proper fight. I'm sure you can understand that from my personality, really, in this game. Like, if you came up to me, if a guy came up to me and started flaming me out, you, we know, you may have seen me do it before, I don't react to them at all. They come up to me and say, my vids suck. And properly saying, it, like, almost famous, your vids suck, like go die or something, and they don't put a happy face or anything, or like a full stop, and that's like, oh, it's even worse, and I'm just like, I know they suck, and then they're just like, 
wait, what? I was trying to offend you. Can you get offended? I'm just like, nope, mate, play the game, man. Not getting offended. No problem. People are getting offended on a game. I'm not going to go into that. I won't bother, but you can kind of understand that. But yeah, there are things, like I said in the video, there are things that do really annoy me on this game. Like today, I got dropped from my fight hat and the guy said, see you as I died. Now, that's not as bad as people saying sit. And me and Reese always talk about it. It's like, when you're PKing and you die to someone and they say sit, that is an instant punch, that's an instant see you later screen. Your screen goes out the window at that point, because that is just like, you want to pull Verez's face, really, and then you have beef with that person, really. But another thing is, I don't hold grudges on this game. I've gone through so many people on this game that, like, rag me constantly, and then, just to say, um, a smart ragger who attempts to rag me will give up quick, because I have, I've dealt with a ragger for, like, three months of solid live streaming, really. I've dealt with a solid ragger, and then eventually he gave up. He's on my friends list now. I'm actually friends with him. I've done a kill him for him, and obviously I didn't hack him and stuff like that, but I do get ragged a lot, but I put up with it, and people have seen it, and I have anti-raggers always at the time, but the smartest people who rag me are the ones that, like, stop quickly, because they know I don't react to it at all. I know a ragger is out there to annoy me, so if I get annoyed, then they're winning, but if I don't get annoyed, they try hard, and it is funny. To see them, what they do, they just go through flaming me as well, and I'm laughing. Like you may see it on live streams, it annoys my viewers. I know that viewers do get annoyed when like cannons and stuff like llamas kind of like. But um, I, I don't have any grudge against llamas either. I mean, overall, if I put raggers and llamas in the same sense, I prefer llamas to raggers because raggers are just like I know they are raggers, but raggers is in like. Uh, let's just use the word no-namers in this situation, are just people who are trying to pick up fame. Like, if I use an in this situation, he is probably the most famous ragger in the game, really. And I think people, like, I think, this is opinion, people actually rag on this game just to try and get some of the fame he has, because everybody knows who he is. He doesn't even, well, he does have a YouTube, actually, but he's known for ragging, and people are trying to get that fame by ragging as well. But they're just, they're just no good. They're bad. Like... I, I mean, Anne's not my combat anymore, so I don't have to put over there, but I used to. But overall, I could do it, deal with it. But there's all these people that are out there like, oh, he's famous. I might go rag people and try and get some of his fame and become the new most most known ragger, really. It's just like, no, mate, you're horrible. Go away, mate. You can't claim his title, really. And then if I just take llamas as the example, clan of raggers, and there's just peasants who are ragging for no reason or just trying to be funny or something. Nah, get out of here, mate. You're doing nothing, mate. But I could... Yeah, um... Well, I must do disrupt my live streams, but as you may have seen in that live stream, I can't put up with it rather well, but my viewers can't. My viewers don't enjoy seeing things like that, so it is a uh, sacrifice, but I believe if I ever get, like, stuff, if I'm ever recording a video on live stream again, like I was at the time, and I start getting, like, cannons and stuff placed on me permanently, I probably will just end the live, I will let them end my live stream, I'll admit that, I'll just let them end me, so that I can produce an enjoyable video, really, like, videos where I'm crowded to hell, normally don't really get me the best, like, ratings like there's so many comments saying things like oh can't stand this video getting cannons placed on me i mean i'm just like think how hard it is for me to record this video and not get frustrated with a cannon being placed on me every five seconds really but it does make pk a lot more of a challenge but i don't know why i've been rambling on about raggers for the past 10 minutes oh, okay we need to move topic on really but yeah i mean you can kind of understand what i was saying there so uh, i'm going to talk a bit about the crucible now so if you're actually watching my live stream on the Crucible, I think I hit, I'm just randomly guessing here, I think I hit the second most viewed RuneScape live stream of all time. Behind RuneShark, I think RuneShark got like a 10,000 viewed live stream, but that's because they obviously have a ridiculous amount of subscribers, and they live stream off YouTube, I live stream off Twitch. I got, I think it was 2,450 viewers on my live stream. You're thinking right now, that doesn't sound like a lot. But most live streams like League of Legends get like 5,000 viewers, but that's because it's League of Legends. And then some of them get like 20,000, which is ridiculous. But for me, to get a live stream of 2,400 people on a RuneScape live stream, that was normally about four times as many people actually watching a RuneScape live stream at the time between every RuneScape live stream channel going on on Twitch at the time. It's only about 600 viewers. I had four times that watching my live stream, and that was honestly so awesome to do i mean i really enjoyed that but yeah it was on crucible day of release i don't know how many subscribers i gained off doing that i mean I'm, i think most of it was my subscribers watching but i don't mind if new viewers come then they come really but mainly i think it was my subscribers so if you're watching that live stream then you're awesome really and if you're watching my live stream you weren't a subscriber and now you're subscribed and you're watching this video leave a comment because I, I, I always love to find out who my new subscribers are like i see comments like been watching your vids for a while now you're an awesome commentator, subbed and so I would happy face. Those comments are awesome. I don't really reply to them because I have like potentially more important to 
although there's not really much more important than that really to talk about, well not to talk about, but to reply to. So overall, the comments like that are awesome really. But yeah, going back to the Crucible, uh, my opinions on the Crucible I'll talk about, but overall, like everyone does agree, it is definitely unfair, pretty badly coded, and quite a poor update, but it has a lot of potential, and what they need to do is update it. And before I go into this, remember, when Bounty Hunters crate Craters came out in 07 or early 08, I don't know if they came out day of release of the Wilderness, I think the Wilderness went like December 20, no, 2007, I think it was December that time, I'm not 100% sure on that, I know it went in 07, but did Bounty Hunter come out day of release of the, I mean, day of release of the removal of the Wilderness, that is awesome to say, day of release of the removal of the Wilderness, that's awesome. But, as we know, when Bounty Hunter came out, Bounty Hunter was actually a multi-combat area. Obviously, this is pre-summoning and stuff like that, but if you go to Bounty Hunter, well, Bounty Hunter used to be multi-combat, and it was useless to PK in there alone. You just get teamed by one item as constantly. But then they updated it, and it became a single combat area. And I know, even when Bounty Hunter came out, everyone was um, saying things like, oh, I hate this update, I want the Wilderness back. But now that we have the Wilderness back, I want Bounty Hunter back so bad, and I'm sure so many. I want PvP Worlds back. I want the... Bounty Worlds, was it? I want those back. I just want them Jagex to add worlds with these in so I can play every aspect of the game that has come. It would be such an amazing update. Like, World 180 Bounty Hunter Creator. I know, that'd be so fun to do. It might just be full of lure teams and stuff, but we don't have that beam. But, World like 183 PvP Worlds, 184 Bounty World plus 1, World Bounty World plus two, 0 of ones. If they added updates like that, this game would honestly be so much better. If I could choose what aspect of the game, like five different ways of PvP to get items. At the moment, it's just a crucible, uh, staking kind of, and the wilderness. They're the only ways to actually kill a player for his items, really. And then there's things like the crucible, and then there's bounty hunter. I mean, if I could choose which one I wanted to play, oh, I'd have a lot of fun in this game, really. So I'm going to use that undead soul up here quickly. But yeah, going to the crucible. Uh, the Crucible is very fun for me, but that's simply because I have 99 summoning. In my opinion, if you don't have 99 summoning, the Crucible is definitely not that fun to do because you just get destroyed by people. What's this one? Body, death, and blood. I had the. What, what was there? So it was there and it just disappeared. I'm sure I'm going to pull that out. Throw that there and fix it. I'm sure I've lost a room, but yeah. Crucible, they need to fix. What they need to fix is the multi combat areas. That needs to be patched. Now, if they. Like, I, I know they're not watching this video, but if I was there, they should just come up with the idea, let's make two versions, one multi-combat for familiars, one non-multi-combat for familiars. Bam. Instantly amazing update. Because you can choose which one you go to, and you're not removing content people currently may enjoy. But obviously, if you don't have a Steel Titan, you're not going to go to the other one unless you want to use a Yak or a Wolpertinger, which means when you go there, it's going to be Steel Titan or Steel Titan, it might be pretty pointless to do. And then if you go to the other one, it's just one-on-one -on -one combat to the death, really. It'd be really I mean, the Crucible, no familiars, simply just fighting in there, would be sick. It's like the wilderness, but you can't get PJ'd at all. It's, it's honestly amazing. I really love that. But moving on from that, the target system is horrendous. And I know you all know that, but... Uh, when I was doing my livestream, the lowest combat I got paired with was 83, which was 27 lower, levels lower than me. And I didn't attack him because I actually got paired with an 89 earlier and I killed him. I didn't rush specs, I don't rush specs right, but I still killed him. And just to kill a level 89, it's just, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. I did feel bad in the comments saying it's pretty sad and I understood straight away. I'm not going to do that again. So I didn't attack anyone below like 95 combat unless they wanted to fight me really. But as we know, my account is actually 98 combat, just there's so many level adds on to it, so... But yeah, I obviously like this level 83 level, but the highest combat I also got given was 124. So I actually believe that the target system is somehow based upon defense levels, because everyone I was given had fairly low defense. I was given no one in Barrows, and I was given no one defense pills. I was given a guy with 30 defense, I know that, but most of them were 40 defense. And as I've said, 124 combat was the max I was given, which is most likely a max rune pure with Nana Summoning. And a little awesome thing that happened, actually, was um, I was fighting some 120, and he had a pack yak, and I had a steel titan, and I made him leave first, and I had, like, eight food against his 30-odd uh, whatever, and I made him leave first, because my steel titan was doing work there, so that was kind of fun to do. But overall, if they set it to do 5% of your combat level, so for me, that would be five levels up or down, which would hopefully be, like, not 105 to 115, because the world summoning accounts were dominating there. But... Um, or if they added both versions of it, like in the non-summoning craters, it'd be between like 5% of my level is something like 
just about five really. So it'd be from pretty much my combat boundary, so ninety four to one hundred and two, or ninety three to one hundred and three. I'd probably fight those, and it'd be that'd be good to get targets like that. I'd really definitely enjoy that. As for the supreme champion thing, I only just found out how that works. And if you're actually given the supreme champion, don't use the weapons in your inventory. Don't use them. Leave them. Grab what. Use whatever you have and attack people. If you kill, attack the lowest levels you can find, not to be lame or anything, they don't lose items, but everyone you kill will drop a trophy bone, really. So if you find, like, level 60s and stuff, just attack them, you can kill them quite easily in about 2-3 hits, they lose nothing, they can go straight back in, they keep their fee, and you get a trophy bone for it. So if you ever get Supreme Champion, don't use the weapons, just get, you can use the staff, actually, because you get given spells like Disruption Shield and Vengeance and stuff, so you can use those, but seriously, just get on the lowest levels you can find, Kill as many as you can and pick up all those trophy loads and you've made a bit of bank right there. So it's like, well not bank, but they do add up. But yeah, back to what I was doing. But that's about it for the uh, Crucible. That's what I think they need to update. They need to not remove the summoning, but add a new version of it without summoning. That is what they need to do. They also need to fix the rewards. Some of, as far as I'm aware, that helmet is cosmetic. I don't know about that. I am kind of uh, fully guessing on this. But I think the Supreme Helmet is actually uh, cosmetic, so... It's kind of a waste of a reward there, but I got 34 things, and I bought myself a title, which means everyone I kill has their name with a question mark, and it says who after it, really. But I thought that would change my title, so I thought my name would be Almost Famous Who. That would have been a sick title. I would love that. Most YouTubers probably would have took that, but there were a few there that I really wanted to take, but unfortunately, I couldn't take huge pride on this. This guy's a peasant. I'm doing a duo video with Eco soon. It's probably going to be after my holidays really but I'm starting to kind of like get into duo videos because people do like to see me collaborate with other YouTubers now just like everyone leaves comments like fight bone so and stuff I'll probably get around to try and do one bone so but I think he kind of quit I think all he does is like flower these days unfortunately but yeah people like Arrays I got into a video um, with him and it was definitely so fun to make that left hand brilliant one and then I got into a video with uh, So Wrecked as well that's pretty fun Although, it would be, um, oh, there we go, fit this weekend, mate. Uh, it would be really fun if we, um, like, between me and Sora, it obviously has so many levels on me that you have to, like, keep degraded in his gear so I'd have a chance to fight him, really. So, it was a bit, like, unfair to do that. So, I mean, if we could go with equal gear and, like, go for all out, it'd be really fun to do. But, unfortunately, he's not my stats, so we couldn't really do that, really. But, yeah, I mean, I'll probably try and have a duo video with uh, most of my uh, people watching this. I'm going to, like, one-tick this. Right, okay, what do I need? Go. Baguette go straight away. I'm pressing enter, why would you even do that? But you click the baguette and then just spam click the portal and get out of there. I mean, I think I did that one in like, I did like flat, uh, random, I don't know if cares, but I did like four ticks. Like, I got in, took my square sandwich, clicked the portal, and I was out of there straight away, and I was like, oh, thanks for the XP gone. Yeah, drop that, and that's actually 900 in agility XP right now. Thank you very much for saving me approximately 45 seconds of time. But yeah, unfortunately, Eco, I won't be able to do this. But yeah, speaking about that, is, um, I go on holiday on Monday morning, really. So, I don't know if I'll be streaming on Sunday. I don't think I streamed last Sunday because I was busy or something like that. But, um, I say something like that a lot, don't I? I'm going to sneeze. Yeah, um, like I was saying, I did sneeze twice. And I always see sneeze twice. I don't know if anyone else has that, but if I sneeze once, I always sneeze twice. And I almost never sneeze the third time unless I have a cold coming or something like that. So, I can actually feel the cold coming at the moment, which is suck. But, yeah, um,. I go on holiday on Monday, which means you are going to have no videos by me for two weeks. And I was actually going to uh, probably give my, well, trust my YouTube account with a friend really to upload videos for me. But I don't really want to go out there and pre-record a load of videos and have him upload on certain days really. It would have been um, a bit of effort to do really, but plus I'd have to find some. I mean, I know perfectly well who I would have trusted with my YouTube account because I actually believe him to be probably one of the most trustworthy people on my friends list in my opinion. I don't know if I should say his name though, because people will be like instantly think like, "What the hell? Are you serious, Adam?" And I, I'm so I'm deadly serious with this, but yeah, I may as well. But the person I think if I was going to trust at all with my YouTube channel to upload videos for me would probably have been NHS really, Luke. I think I would trust him above most people on this game. I know a lot of you are probably going to jump straight into conclusions now, but really, if you're going to leave comments like that. I really just no, you I you jump to conclusions. Adam. I know Luke fairly well, probably not as good as many people. But he's one of my probably favourite people to talk with. And I probably trust him above probably 99% of my friends. I think the only person I probably trust more than him is probably Nathan, maybe. 
Harry possibly. It's probably those top three out there to be trusted. If I gave it to a raise, my YouTube account have like zero subs. It is it like fifty thousand or something. Well, it's transfer only subs and his or something like that. But yeah, he's probably the person I would have trusted with my account. But I've decided I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna have a two week break from videos. Really, I'm just gonna go on holiday, have fun. Not have to worry about my account potentially being hacked. Although if I gave it to Luke, I'm like nine hundred percent sure he wouldn't be. He'd do nothing to it really. But yeah, I mean, I should have fun on holiday. But I will make an IRL video before I go. And I'll make an arrow video when I get back. I think I may also do the cinnamon challenge before I go. I know it's all this like 2011 stuff and no one really cares about it anymore. But obviously I'll make it fun. I'm going to do the whole pot, whole thing, whole jar. I don't know what you call this thing of cinnamon. But I don't think I can do it in one go. I think that's like guaranteed to fail. But I'll do it like two sets, like half and half really. So do it once. Then my mouth turns into the Sahara Desert really. And then I do it again with my mouth as dry as the desert. And try and do it again. It's pretty difficult to do. But yeah, I've done the cinnamon challenge about five times in real life. And I've never failed it. So I don't think I'd fail it on camera. If I did fail it on camera, I'd, I'd definitely upload it. Because they are way more fun to watch when people fail. And I really wouldn't mind watching myself fail it on camera. I'd probably laugh as well really. But... Yeah, that's about that. But as for videos that are going to come out before I actually leave, is I'm going to try and get this... Uh, actually, I'll put, I'm going to try and get one more Edgeville commentary out. This will be my last setting in the bar for about two weeks. And I may do a bit of a live stream. I don't know, but I may try... I don't think I'll have time to finish off my Taco Cow from scratch. Because I actually go on a scuba diving ex expedition. I, can't, I don't know what that word is. Expedi is it expedition? I don't know. I actually can't pronounce that word. I think it's expedition, but I always pronounce it wrong. However, that is right today. I think I almost said ex... Ex, 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 I don't know. I don't. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. But yeah, um, I go on that on Saturday. And I don't know how long it'll last, but it'll most likely be about all day. So I won't be able to get on much on Saturday. And then Sunday is the day before holidays. So I will be making sure that I have everything packed and all that ready. So I don't know if I'll be live streaming on Sunday. So obviously, some of my, my, you're going to have to wait a while for my live streams. But people may also realize that I've actually uploaded a hell of a lot of videos this month. And that is so people can actually, because I won't be doing any more videos for the month, I think I've uploaded around 30 videos so far in, in June, so if you ever want to just go back and watch some videos you may have missed out because I was uploading so many, that's kind of what I've done here, so feel free to go back and watch as many as you want, really, I don't mind, I've left you with a ton of videos for you to watch, but... Yeah, well, on Monday, I will definitely do a goodbye. Well, not really a goodbye live stream. It's not like I'm leaving YouTube for life. It's only two weeks. So, well, I, mean, I know some of you are there like, oh, two weeks, that birthday video, I'm going to cry. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to come back. And I'm going to look forward to so many messages that are saying, dude, where are your videos? Because I know that maybe a fifth of my subs maybe watch my sit in the bars because people subscribe for other things, really. So a lot of people aren't actually going to know that I'm not going to be making videos for two weeks. But I'll probably say this in the in the next commentary I'll make. I'll probably make sure I put this in and tell everyone that. I'll try and make sure everyone's notified, and then most likely have a final live stream. So yeah, uh, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did ramble on a bit at the start about all my 200 mils, which I'm probably never actually going to get. And I've probably got tons of comments saying that they just don't think I'm going to do it or they don't care about it. But people did say I wouldn't max out my account, and as you can see, I'm definitely going to finish that off, no doubt about it. So I should be able to do this if I do actually enjoy the combat rework. But yeah. As of people thinking my opinion of the combat rework, I'm not looking forward to it. I can play the game as it is really at the moment, so hopefully it won't be a huge mess up. But the attack level thing, I kind of do like the sound of it. It is kind of cool, and it would be nice to get attack levels up to completely change my commentaries. But a big problem is normally when people change their account build, their videos can go highly downhill. But I think in my case, the only thing that would happen to mine was to bring in more powerful weapons that I can have more fun with. And obviously, a lot less zeros and maybe a lot less splashes in Hyperdin, if Hyperdin still exists then. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. So uh, take care, everyone.